I like going to the zoo at all ages, actually. Yes! Mm -hmm. Philadelphia Zoo is going back in time, though. They have dinosaurs there now. Wow! So, Jen, you're giving us a tour. Look, right there. I mean, look at, oh, yes! Hi, buddy. Not so scary. This is a little teenager. Good morning! Good morning! And I said to you, uh, this is crazy that this is in the zoo. Yep. This was, you guys picked these out just for the Philadelphia Zoo. That's right. We had them all created, especially for big time, a life in an endangerous age where we transformed a big part of our campus, you know, to take people 250 million years ago back uh, through present day so that uh, people could learn about these wonderful giants that roamed the planet, which of course we know due to many, you know, intense, historic events, uh, they no longer exist, they're extinct. And, and some of our creatures that we find so magical in today, like elephants and polar bears and great apes, and they're, they, are, they are facing some of the same potential outcomes in our lifetime. Wow. So this experience really is about teaching us that. I have to say, sometimes you come to these types of exhibits and they're not moving as much they are really moving and coming alive everywhere you go. See, you can even see, like on this, uh, the Edmontosaurus, there is, you know, not only is his, his mouth and his face and his eyes, but you can even see him breathing. Yeah, his, his little, belly's his breathing. His belly breathing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'm a weirdo, you know this. Like, what about the other animals, the actual live animals? Like, have they noticed that these guys are here? They haven't. I mean, maybe <laughs> they have a little bit because some of these great big ones are peeking out a little bit, and I'm yeah. sure they're curious of what's going on. Okay, I but just don't they're... want them to feel weird. I worry about them. <laughs> no, I did see a Canada all. goose as I came in, <laughs> and you know they're always very curious about what's going on. Sure, okay, sure. so let's get some of the business out of the way. Today is the first day that the zoo reopens for seven days. Yep, we're open seven days a week now. Okay, and then. Today, if you're a member, you can start coming to see this. That's right. Through the weekend, members can start to come, but no matter if you're a member or you're just a normal ticket buyer for a day, you do either have to have your reservation as a member or your ticket in advance. That has to happen because our capacities are limited. Yeah. You know, we're, we're really adhering to all of the standards and we want to make sure that we're actually exceeding them. Um, so everyone has to have a reservation or a ticket bought in advance. And I do think as a mom of, look at the, every single one of them is just moving. <laughs> um, the zoo was one of the first places that I think people felt safe because you're outside, you're able to like back away from some people if you need sure, to. Sure, of course. And you know, I think one thing about this exhibit that is so great is that it is outdoors, the entire thing. So we'll be pulsing people through the zoo at, at very safe, you know, lengths and um, again, adhering to all the regulations, but also within the exhibit itself. I love it. Okay. Now, you know, we kind of just ran in here and we just did this little segment because we're complete professionals. <laughs> I just, Mike and Alex, you'll love this. So in all the emails about this, it kept saying big time exhibit. Yeah. And I thought it was the producer being like, it's a really big time exhibit. <laughs> the name of the thing is big time it exhibit. Is big time for so many reasons. <laughs> okay. It is big time. Just the big Tracy wrote in all the notes, it's a big time exhibit. And I was like, I get it. It's a big time exhibit. Um, this is great. Can I stick around for one hour? Heck yeah. Okay. We'd love to have you. So Mike and Alex, you know, read your emails yeah. and then read them again. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you're big time. 